Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome you in Jesus name. I would like you to go with me in John 15 please and I'm going to start to read from verse 18 and I'm going um, to share this message to you and please I pray that um, by the power of the Holy Ghost that you will share this message to worldwide to um, all Christians um, family members that they are in the faith or maybe other Christians that they have uh, fallen away please just share this message i'm going to read from verse 18 what and this is jesus what he is saying to his disciples if the world hates you know that it has hated me before it hated you all right if you were of the world the world would love you as its own but because you are not of the world but i chose you out of the world therefore the world hates you Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Now, keep it in mind. This is Jesus Christ, a man, our creator, the author of life. Jesus Christ, that himself he is God. That Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. It is not what the preacher says. But it is what the Lord Jesus Christ himself, he is saying. The Lord Jesus Christ, he himself, he is speaking to his disciples. He is telling them, if the world is hating you, don't be surprised, don't marvel, because it has hated me first. It, he is saying to them, I chose you out of the world. That is why the world is hating you, because you are representing me. You are being a light where there is darkness. Because you are being light, whereas there is darkness, darkness um, is going to hate you. Okay? Remember Ephesians 6 that our fight is not against flesh and blood, but it is against the forces of darkness. Keep it in mind when you give your life to Jesus Christ, you are being a threat to Satan, therefore, he is going to hate you. Amen? If you are a minister of God, you cast out demons, you preach the word, or you heal the sick or you are speaking the true gospel of Jesus Christ concerning repentance for the forgiveness of sins, yes, Satan is going to hate you. People, um, he's going to make even people, maybe friends, they come against you. Um, he will turn everyone against you like literally hell will break loose against you. Do not marvel. Do not, do not, do not marvel. Um, the problem is if we are... Um, getting let's say attacked if we sinned that is the problem but if we did not sin and we are being attacked um, rejoice for the kingdom of God is um, at hand and is upon your life and the spirit of glory is upon your life leap with joy the Lord Jesus Christ says listen to this um, Jesus is saying verse 20 that the servant is not greater than his master if they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. Remember that we are no, not um, greater than Jesus, all right? And through, strictly speaking, we are never going to be Jesus because Jesus, there is only one. What we can do, we can be like Jesus, but we are never going um, to be better than him. Amen or him. Amen. Um, we can only be like him. Amen. Because Jesus is God. Jesus, if he was being persecuted, you are going to be persecuted. In other scriptures, Jesus says that if they have called me Belzebul, how much more they will speak bad, they will melin to, um, to his household, that he is referring to us. If they have accused um, the Lord Jesus Christ himself that he was casting out demons with um, uh, Belzebul, with the prince of demons, how much more they are going to say to you that you have a demon? Even maybe, yes, your own friends or your family members, they, if, they, if they did not um, believe um, in Christ, his own brothers and sisters, how much more they are not going to believe in you? If Christ was rejected, how much more you are going to be rejected? Please, if they have isolated Christ, 
how much more they are going to isolate you. Many times we pray, you know, like, Lord, I want to be like you. Amen. And that is a good prayer that we all need to pray. But you are going to pass the same things that Christ has passed. Of course, God is not going to give you more than you can handle. But the, the, the road to salvation is narrow and few are going to find it. Hence, listen to this. Um, saints, um, read Isaiah 53 and read the first um, view, especially um, verses, to see um, the life of Christ, how was it concerned that he was a man of sorrows, people rejected him, you know, um, they were despising him, etc., etc. You would see that so they are going to do to you, especially if you are praying that prayer that you are going to be like Christ, that we need to be like Christ, and yes, I I encourage you that you continue to for you to continue to pray that prayer amen but do not marvel that people are going to come against you are we seeing seeking the approval of God or of men you cannot be a servant of God and a servant of men keep it in mind in a way that you cannot please God and please men and um, Paul says clearly in Galatians 1 if I am a servant uh, if I were a servant of God, if I were a servant of men, I cannot, um, let me read it well, um, to tell you exactly what um, Paul is saying. It is in Galatians 1. Was it better I read it? He's saying, from verse 10, um, if I were still trying to please men, I would not be a servant of Christ. You cannot be a man pleaser and be a God, ser God servant. Amen. Um, if we continue to read in John, 5, uh, in John and we um, skip that part, I reckon you that you would study and meditate it at home. Um, in, in John 16 verse 1, Jesus is saying after the words that he said from verse 18 onwards, I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. Now, this is why Christ was telling them, like, do not marvel if the world is hating you. Do not marvel if they will speak bad about you. Do not marvel. You know, don't, don't take it. Don't take it on you. You know, um, if the world is hating you, if people are coming against you, if your own family members are coming against you, if you are being isolated, if you are feeling the world is coming against you totally, do not marvel because he is saying, I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away, to prepare their heart. So, so when these things are going to happen, they know that Christ had told them beforehand concerning these things and they don't think that they are doing something wrong but they but these things are happening because they are representing Christ because they are being salt of the earth they are being light into this world amen they are are stepping on the on the toes of um, uh, the enemy amen therefore the enemy is going to come with a roar against them amen rabba shaw Christ is telling them, I have, I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. And before, he is telling them um, that if the people have obeyed my word, they will also obey yours. But if they did not obey um, his word, they are not going to obey your word. If they did not um, receive my word, they are not going to um, uh, receive yours. Amen. Rabba Shaw. Because if we are being a photocopy of Christ, we are supposed that we are speaking his words, not our own words, not what we think, but what he says. Amen. Listen to this, verse 2. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering sacrifice to God. Now, listen to this. Now, this is how Christ is speaking to his own disciples. And this is how we need to speak to one another. If you will read um, the, um, the book of Acts, we would see that the churches is in those times, the true churches is of the Lord Jesus Christ, that the foundation was the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost. They were being persecuted, amen, from religious people and from the world. Therefore, they used to send 
apostles, ministers of God in those churches um, to um, encourage their faith so their faith might not fail. Amen. In fact, Paul used to tell them that uh, we must suffer many things to enter the kingdom of God. Listen to me. Yes, a true church of the Lord Jesus Christ will pass persecution, will be attacked and the people of the world will come against it. And yes, don't marvel that maybe you would see, let's put it this way, other Christians attacking um, uh, your your um, your community, your church. Because there are many Christian churches um, that they call themselves, of course, Christians, um, and they have they are under a religious spirit and that spirit of religiosity will use those people to come against you listen to me when um, um, when you are being moved by the Holy Ghost amen this is I'm speaking about people also by a church that the Holy Ghost is moving the church religious churches will come against those people that religious religious people religious churches will come against that church amen remember who did come against the Lord Jesus Christ Amen. His own people. They are supposed that they were believers, but they were religious people. Remember the Pharisees. Now, if this happened before, um, how much more it will happen nowadays? That nowadays everyone has his own theory, everyone has his own studies. People, because they made Bible studies, they think that they are on the top of the world, etc., etc. Now, of course, I'm not saying that doing Bible study is wrong i'm not speaking about this but we should stay with our feet on the ground remember that the lord jesus christ he used um peter john james and andrew that they were fishermen that that when they were speaking boldly amen rabbi Shaw, the pharisees were astonished because they knew that they did not have um any teaching and studies but they had a relationship with the lord jesus christ that is everything the relationship with the lord jesus christ remember it ha God will use imperfect people to perfect them so his glory will be seen. Amen. And no one can puff up. Amen. In front of God and in front of people. Amen. So please never... Um, uh, how can I say? Despise people, etc. Rabbi Shaw. Um, keep um, watchful because remember also Jos Josiah was eight years old when he was a king. Amen. And if you read it uh, henceforth, even before that he was a great king, um, uh, that he was obedient towards the word of God. And yes, he really did great things for God. So please keep it in mind and remember also David. Amen. He was one of the least expected that God was going to use him. In fact, God used um, him. Sometimes God will use people that we think that uh, will never pass from our mind that um, um, God is going to use them. That is true. So he will shame us and we might repent and he will humble us. So please never despise people. I know that there are people that they are going to hear this audio clip. Never um, see even a person. Maybe there is a, a young youth of 12 years. Never say he is young. No. Remember Jeremiah. Amen. That when Jeremiah said, I am only a young boy. God told him, don't say that. You must go wherever I am going to send you. Amen. Roboshi. So please, God even used a donkey. That the donkeys that God spoke from the mouth of a donkey so please let us keep humble i am speaking also to myself because i am a person like you because god can use any um anyone and yes you don't need to be degreed etc and you have scholars and went to school and you have so many um degrees etc for god uses you um uh, the more generally strictly speaking god will use the people more that they um uh, Think that they are not going to be used, or people that they think that they are, that God is not going to use them. Amen. So please, um, if you let us repent and let God use whom He is willing to use, because no one is better than no one. Now, the message is that um, uh, that Jesus was speaking about uh, speaking to His disciples concerning um, being persecuted. Amen. He spoke these words so they might not fall away. 
Amen. There are people nowadays in Christianity, they are falling away. And one of the things is because what kind of teaching um, uh, these um, people are hearing in their community, in their, their churches. Amen. Um, please um, be watchful what kind of teachings you hear. It is important, even if you are a minister of God, um, that you give them the whole truth. Amen. Because if you are going to equip, that is why there is the fivefold ministry. Read Ephesians 5. The fivefold ministry is there not to tickle the ears of the, the body of Christ, but to equip the saints for the work of ministry. Amen. Remember that Satan is like a roaring lion waiting for someone whom he, seeking, sorry, someone whom he might de devour. And that is why um, people go to churches, amen, and communities, so not for them to hear what they want to hear or um, their ears to be tickled, but to get equipped for the work of ministry, to get um, prepared for that spiritual warfare. Amen. Because as it says in Job, man is born into trouble and also in, in the books of uh, Matthew, if I'm not mistaken, in Luke also it says, um, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, he says that Ria Kadaradasi, its day has its own trouble. And Jesus Christ also, he said, verse 33, that I have said all these things to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Many people, they don't... Um, got this message many people think that because you are going to give your life to Christ everything is going to be good amen um, uh, and like flowers and roses and that is not true there is no contradiction people did not understand this verse Jesus is saying peace I give to you peace I give to you in me you have peace in Christ you have peace peace I give to you peace I give to your heart Amen. But in this world, you are going to live in thorns. Amen. There is going to be tribulation when you give your life to Christ. Amen. He is going to give you peace in your heart. You are going to have the promised land in your heart if you are going to walk by faith, not by sight. But in this world, there is going to um, give you tribulation. The Lord Jesus Christ told them, peace I give to you. Peace I give to you, to your heart, but take heart. Um, I have overcome the world, but in this world, you are going to have tribulation. In Christ, we are going to have peace. Amen. Peace is one of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, peace you are going to have in heart. Christ is going to give you peace in your heart, but in this world, you are going to have tribulation. Amen. So, please, um, if you are walking with Christ and there is family members coming against you, your own brothers and sisters come against you, maybe your own household are coming against you, amen, maybe, I don't know, um, your best friends, let's put it this way, or your friends, they are coming against you because you are trying to live the scripture, you are not, if that is the case, you are being persecuted for righteousness sake in Christ Jesus and because you are being a witness of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The problem is if we are um, having attacks and being attacked because we did something wrong, because we are living in sin or because we sinned. You know, uh, that is another issue. But because, but if, sorry, you are being um, persecuted and attacked because you are being light in this world, take heart, there is nothing different, um, there is nothing, you know, um, uh, not, nothing, how can I say, there is nothing, um, not, there's nothing wrong that is happening, it is just that you are um, representing the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, peace, when we are going to have peace to, from the outside or right from the world, let's put it this way, is when um, everything is finished and there will be the new world and the new Jerusalem. That, that, that time we are going to, everything is going to be at peace. There is no more cry and weeping and lamentation. But until uh, we are here, yes, we are going to pass difficulties. There are going to be times where you're going to weep. 
and cry but take heart that Christ is with you remember the challenges are not there meant to destroy you but to fortify you remember that God is faithful remember the story of Job how much Job stayed faithful and God gave him hundredfold what he has lost keep it in mind keep it in mind that Jesus says um, also uh, in John 14 let not your let not your hearts be troubled trusting God and trust also in me amen so i would like to close um, uh, this audio clip by giving glory to god and if you feel free to ask us and question us and question us anything please feel free to write us or email us at the house of the lord malta at outlook.com or um, visit our facebook page the house of the lord malta or you can feel free to visit our website um, uh, the house of the lord malta.com god's grace be with you remember keep the faith and god is faithful greater is he that lives in us than that that is that is in the world be blessed in the name of the lord and we give god all the glory to the holy spirit and the lord jesus christ and to his blood be blessed amen